Hello and welcome back to my Haynes Roadster build. Uh, as you can see, I have a dashboard installed. Woohoo! Uh, this dashboard does everything. I only need, um, well, just filter oil pressure, oil pressure and boost uh, gauges. But apart from that, this gauge does everything. It has all the indicators, it has all the lighting on it, it has fuel tank levels, it has everything. Uh, complete IVA compliant as well so that one dash is sorted <laughs> happy days uh, also as you can see here I have wiring looms I don't think you can see down here but the wiring looms down the bottom end of the car are currently laying in place um, the wiring's going to come up through here and it's going to have a little grommet in there with all the wires coming through from the front loom and the rear loom um, the rear loom is down here and goes all the way to the back there and here it goes off to all the lights now this loom is completely um, kind of bespoke more or less um, it is the rapid uh, rapid fit looms uh, online they got me the whole system this is the deluxe uh, ECU 7 type loom with Digidash pre-installed in the wiring loom so I actually have connectors over here, which, where is it? Yeah, Digidash, it's all pre, whoops, all pre-wired for that dashboard to go into. Um, it is cheating, granted, but it saves me a lot of hassle. As you can see here, Digidash, I've got this one here, I've got the hazards, I've got all the switches, yeah, it's all leveled up all nicely to go in, lights and this all connects to the Sierra loom which is down well down there somewhere uh, which splices into those plugs it's all modular so I don't need to uh, put it all in place first before I wire it up, I can just literally wire it as I go and install things which saves me a lot of time I don't know if you can see this but this whole section here um, Including all the fuse boxes and relays. Uh, here we are. Uh, I've got two sets of fuse boxes and two sets of relays. Uh, one is ECU, uh, so that one there is the ECU relay, uh, which goes, uh, well, does all the fuel pump, everything, all in one. And this is the main car relay, which is all the wipers, indicators, um, well, everything. <laughs> everything, really. I'm not having wipers, so I don't really need that to be honest, but it's nice to have it installed just in case. I decide to modify in the future and install windscreen. Um, I'm not harsh, not sure how that works out for the IVA because uh, I plan to have no windscreen for the IVA. I'm not sure whether or not I need another test afterwards. Um, but yeah, I doubt I have a windscreen anytime soon. Um, yeah, as you can see here, all the fuses are pre-installed, pre pre-done. Um, I have to admit the loom is lovely. Uh, I don't know if you can see the actual finish on it. But it's all really well bound together. Uh, all the front, all the engine bay looms are sleeved and kind of PVC sleeved uh, to give them more protection. All the internal looms are wrapped up in this kind of cloth tape, um, which is kind of handy actually because you can cut it open and go into it and splice extra wires. Uh, what's here? So that's all the that's all the front steering column stuff, uh, along with ignition. Uh, not too bad actually. I don't know if you can see actually, all these plugs are sealed inside, and there's little rubber gaskets in there as well. So, really, really good. I mean, the quality is fantastic. Um, they weren't cheap, I can't have to admit, you know, it was a not, not cheap option to go for the pre made loom, but uh, it saves me so much time. This is the ECU loom. This has all the ECU power going off to it. It has um, feedback on here, so all these from here it goes uh, blah 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 <laughs> Right, from here uh, the speed sensor and everything else comes back to the dashboard. Uh, it's all, well, it's a fantastic loom. I can put the drawings online for you so you can see if you want to have a little look. Um, this is also my favourite bit as well. Front loom, engine loom. <laughs> Yet again, it's all modular, so I literally plug the engine loom into this and that takes power from the relays and all that other bits and bobs. Uh, Engine loom, uh, front loom, yeah, these front ones go off to either side, which is nice and easy. Um, it's all really clearly marked, and all these plugs are you know, sealed so you don't get any moisture in there. It's so simple. Well, 
it's simpler <laughs> than making your own one. Anyway, um, so that's that really. I just thought quickly do a little update. Over the next few days, I'll be installing all this loom and getting it all in place. Uh, engine, all the gaskets are now ordered for the actual intake and um, exhaust gaskets. So they should be arriving mid next week so I can finish off the engine build. Um, I want to refit the sump uh, with different gasket material. The stuff I had in there is that non-setting stuff and I'm not happy with it being in the sump. So I'm changing over to setting silicon gasket instead, uh, black silicon. So that should be fine. I need to paint the gearbox and get that looking nice and smart as well. And also I'm going to refit the gearbox first and then put the engine in afterwards. Um, it kind of fits in easy that way and also stops me bashing all the tubes and wires down here. Um, once the engine's installed, I shall start to install all the panels on the inside here. Um, there, there, and down the side. This one I'm doing last. I'm having this as an access hatch, uh, which I can then take on and take off whenever I need to. Um, rather than riveting, I might bolt this in. So I might put some rivet nuts into here, this section. So it can be removed and for access to the fuel lines, um, access to all the plugs on the gearbox and generally for wiring and whatnot. I think that makes a lot more sense rather than riveting a panel on there permanently. Um, if you have any better ideas, let me know. Um, but yeah, all ideas are welcome. Uh, oh yeah, also dashboard. Um, that's the main loom plugs and these are all the sensor plugs. And you can have so many sensors and inputs into it. It's fantastic. It's really, really good. Uh, I'd highly recommend this dash. Um, I've had, heard lots about it, and from what I've seen so far, yeah, it's pretty, pretty smart. Um, it clicks nice as well. Has a nice little click. <laughs> uh, apart from that, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty sound. I look forward to actually having it on. You can see the backlighting. It's like a, a white LCD backlight. Uh, yeah, apart from that, really, not much has gone, to be honest. <laughs> not a massive amount. Um, rear brake line's been run down, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, so that runs down the side, uh, down to the back. I had some issues with the diff, getting it past the bottom, um, but nothing too serious. I need to move a couple of pipes around, but nothing, nothing crazy. Uh, overall, pretty happy. Um, one of the other jobs I need to do is inst install the scuttle aluminium uh, for the firewall uh, so I can start mounting all this stuff onto it and get it out of the way um, I need to spend a bit of time really working out where the best route is for all these wires, I mean there's there's quite a few of them I mean the, the kit is designed for a 7 style car, which is fantastic um, but still I need to tweak things around a little bit so I might need to extend some wires and generally you know, mess around a little bit oh, also another thing about the loom which is really nice, is it's all IVA compatible or compliant, so it has the uh, front uh, repeaters uh, rather than indicators uh, going onto the wings, which is nice. Um, so that means for the IVA test, that'll pass flying colours, which is fantastic. Um, when you have them mounted onto the sides here, uh, you have issues with the five degrees rear view. Um, so from the back of the car, um, from the back of the car that way, uh, you're meant to have five degrees like that, yeah, coming out. Um, and when it's on there, I think the wheel arch gets in the way, and also because this scuttle panel is mounted at an angle, you just don't see it. So the solution is to mount them on the outside of the front cycle wing. Um, not the prettiest solution, but it certainly works, and is IVA okay, so it suits me fine, to be honest. Uh, alternatively, you can get uh, wing mirror mounted uh, repeaters, but you have to make sure they are the ones which wrap uh, around the back slightly, so you can see them from behind. Uh, if there were ones on the front, it's not much good, from what I've been told. Um, I could be wrong. Uh, please let me know, <laughs> if you know otherwise. Um, but apart from that, I shall update some more videos as soon as I have the engine more complete. Uh, the intake's all cleaned up now, and it's ready to go on. I don't know if you can see over there as well. The oil filter housing is now installed, uh, along with oil filter. And, yeah, it's, it's very close to being ready to step back in again, which is very exciting. <laughs> very exciting. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this, and I shall upload some more videos soon. Uh, please, feel, uh, pre uh, please feel free to subscribe and like the videos, because it's nice to have a bit of feedback. And, yeah, look forward to uh, showing you some more stuff soon.
See you later, guys, and uh, hope you have a nice weekend. Bye.